There has undoubtedly been conflict in the Brown family of sister wives for a considerable amount of time. Even though the disputes are still going on, Robin Brown's Christmas thread dispute was one of the major ones. The family argument that resulted from Robin's Christmas text has now been clarified. Injury occurs to Robin Brown during the Christmas text. Sister Wives has frequently emphasized how much the Brown family enjoyed the Christmas season throughout the years. Even though the holidays weren't always easy, the family seems to love spending time together. But when COVID-19 struck, the family's already high levels of stress intensified. Sadly, a major source of conflict among the family surfaced in Season 18 Episode 2. Logan Brown first made an attempt to initiate a text conversation among the siblings in order to find out what they thought about once more participating in a Christmas gift exchange. But things suddenly got out of control. When Robin learned about the conversation, she attempted to set up a Zoom call using her communication skills, but the family was quite irate. She gave up since she was receiving resistance, but she didn't forget about the problem. Sadly, there were far too many resentments to discuss the family debate over a text exchange. However, with different time zones and young children involved, it was too impossible to set up an impromptu Zoom call on the spot. At last, the Christmas text fallout has been clarified. Robin Brown and Explanation of Christmas Text Fallout Fans of Sister Wives debate the controversial Christmas text that caused a breach in the Brown family on Reddit. What was stated in the family group text about the Christmas gift exchange? Anyone have any information supported by data or reliable sources? A fan summarizes the turmoil surrounding the Christmas thread. As far as I can remember, the siblings have all of the kids, including Robin's kids, on a group text. Talk about holding a gift exchange similar to what they did before COVID broke out. Robin insisted on holding a Zoom call to discuss it, but I don't think everyone could get off their current task and join the call. As a result, I believe Robin assumed the OG 13 kids didn't want her kids to participate. Subsequently, remarks erupted and the situation became quite heated, which prompted Robin's children to express, via Logan and Mike Kelty, that they were unwilling to take part. Those are the cliff notes I can still recall. Anyone is welcome to add to or correct. Robin Brown sees herself as the sucker. Robin Brown eventually gave up on trying to get the group to get on a brief Zoom call. She continues, saying, It is an effort of futility, after declaring that she is done with this. My kids don't even remember who their siblings are, she blurts out. Hunter makes a strong point by saying, One video call ain't going to help that. It got blown out of proportion that they didn't want to hang out, claims Christine Brown Woolley. However, it set off a furious exchange of barbs between the siblings. And then suddenly, no one wanted to hang out, thinks Christine, and all of these resentment regarding Robin's first adoption into the family surfaced. And you're thinking, oh my god. Robin acknowledges that it turned into a conflict between her children and the others. That was a horrible day, Robin remarks. I think Robin jumped to conclusions too fast, remarks Christine. Even though Cody Brown claimed he wasn't picking sides, Robin thought, it's just another example of them not wanting to be in our family. This has been the case from the start. Following the contentious conversation, Robin and her children concluded that spending Christmas with the rest of the family was no longer safe. They chose not to celebrate Christmas together because she interpreted it as a direct attack. Additional supporters comment. Others also sent comments, but one fan provided a nice synopsis of Robin Brown's and the family's activities. Some shed insight on the reasons why the incident's details aren't known more. It surprises one person that a family member hasn't taken advantage of the chance to make the communications public. One, however, provides information regarding a sibling arrangement. I'm shocked that it hasn't been leaked yet. All of the children concurred that it wouldn't. Reference. Wenland's Patreon page. No, but we're all curious. On September 15, 2024, watch Sister Wives Season 19 on TLC and afterwards stream it on Max. How do you feel? Do you believe Robin Brown should have been in line? Do you believe that Gwen Brown's claim that the children consented to keep the material secret explains why fans aren't aware of more details? Are you excited to watch Sister Wives' upcoming season? Please share your opinions in the comments section below.